So I think in a lot of today's business arenas, you think of digital transformation, ooh, woo -hoo, we're paperless. And it is so much more than that. They have to be in from the ground floor. They have to be part of it. If leadership of a company simply says, woohoo, here's our digital transformation, there you go, that's probably going to fall flat. When you have the participation of your entire workforce involved in the strategy, the design, and the architecture of that product, that transformation then becomes their own, and they'll take it and they'll run with it. We use the Visual Factory to track all of our jobs as they flow throughout the factory. So at each operation step, we have RFID readers throughout the facility that are picking up when does a job enter an operation and when does it exit. With that data, um, we can give that back to the operators to help them understand things like how is their first in, first out flow? How are they doing on late to start or important job scheduling information. And from there, they can take real-time decisions uh, that actually impact the factory. Um, it can be very tempting when you're building a new software product or anything along those lines to get swept up in new technological advancements or to build what you think will um, provide value to your users in their factory. Um, but the fact is your users know their day-to-day -day best, uh, so the most important thing you can do is talk to them, understand their pain points and their problems and their daily journeys, um, and let them tell you what you need, and then apply your expertise on software and technology to then build something that is actually useful and a joy for them to use. The concept behind it was, how do we actually go and catch up to the tech industry and use the digital tools, not to just automate what we do, but actually change the way we do business? And we wanted to change it for three key reasons. Number one, can we actually provide a differentiating service to our customer? Can we provide a service that goes beyond our products and actually make the life and business in our customer programs better? Number two, we wanted to increase the level of engagement with our people. We wanted to offer them a job space which was digitally aligned with the times that actually gave them an opportunity to be more effective about their work and also be more creative and have more fun at work. And number three was our cost. You now we focus so much traditionally in manufacturing, how do we find cost savings in our production lines, which ultimately affect our people and ultimately affect our manufacturing processes. That foundation starts the discussion, right? It, start, it broadens the conversation around the quality of the part. It opens up the discussion of the efficiency of the manufacturing process. Can we change something in the engineering of the part itself and partner with our customer in the manufacturing process or in the material selection that would make it more efficient? And in order to really have those deeper conversations, we have to start by giving our customers information. And that's the part of the journey that we are on right now.